Hello, I'm John the Potter from East Nor Pottery and I'm going to show you how to make a clay fish. It's a very very simple technique and one that we use an awful lot in our workshops but you start off with a lump of clay about the size of a potato and you need to break that into three pieces. You then make a thumb pot. So you take your thumb and you stick your thumb into the clay like so. Thumb on the inside, fingers on the outside and give it a good squeeze and keep it turning. Now you don't want to make it too thin um, because what you're going to do, you're going to make two pinch pots and you're going to stick them together. So you're looking really for a sort of surface area that's roughly about sort of half a centimetre to a centimetre in thickness. Okay. Now if you accidentally do go a little bit too thin like that, what you can do, you can just tap that thin bit onto a table and that will actually thicken up and then, then you're back in business. So you make two of those, you then join them up together. So you put them on top of each other, a bit like a, an Easter egg, two halves of an Easter egg, and then you have to seal it together by squishing it. And then once that air is trapped in there, that is a really, really, really strong shape. It's a hollow ball and you can manipulate that, that shape into pretty much whatever shape you require. Uh, on this occasion, it's going to be a fish. Okay, now remember in the beginning we broke the clay into, into three bits. This third lump of clay, you're going to use that to make all your features to go on your fish. I'm going to break a little bit off to make, make a tail. I've got a very simple set of tools here, I've got a, a plastic knife. So anyway, so I've got, got the tail, that's going to squidge on there. Because the clay is really, really nice and soft, you don't need water to attach things. You can just squeeze, squeeze them on and be quite firm with them. So on goes the tail. Eyes going to get two little tiny pieces of, of clay, roll them into balls and stick them onto, onto the fish. And again, taking the stick, just going to squeeze them in there. Maybe a couple of little nose, nose holes in the front there as well. Dorsal fin. Now being quite, quite brutal with that, I'm sort of squashing down on it. Um, but because it's sealed, the air's trapped in there, it's not going to actually collapse. Stick those on. And I'm just going to use the end of this tool just to give you a, a scale effect, just by very gently squeezing it in. That looks really, really good. Very, very fish-like indeed. Now, if this was going to be fired, it would need to have a ventilation hole in it. Um, and this could be just a, a pinprick really, maybe on the uh, underside of the piece of work that you've, that you've made, or you could actually be rather cunning and disguise your ventilation hole as part of the design. So I'm going to take, take the knife here and squeeze it into the, into the fish and then open it out to make, whoops, to make the mouth shape. In there. So there you go, that's how you make a pinch pot fish.